excited and uh, happy to be able to welcome you one more time to our home. We're warming up Shabbat with song and I have to say that over the course of 18 weeks of quarantine, my whole family still gets along. That's something to be really, really grateful for. Um, as we sing one more song before we kind of get going and warm up our spirits, we think about how lovely it is for us to be together. Ine mato rumanayin, shevetachim ganya. with us. Megan Hirsch and Maria May. Shabbat Shalom, you guys. Shabbat Shalom. Missy and Jamie Perkins and Sarah. All right. Shabbat Shalom to everyone. It's wonderful to be together. This is, and I'll probably say it a few times through the course of our welcoming Shabbat together, our final welcoming Shabbat. But don't worry, it's not our final Shabbat together. It's just our final welcoming Shabbat together because starting next week, we will be... Uh, you will be. I will be <laughs> to an empty sanctuary live streaming Shabbat services. And why have we waited this long? I'll tell you why. Because up until now, we have not had the ability to lead a service from the pulpit and you as a congregation at your tables or wherever you may be at six o'clock, you didn't have a prayer book in hand. But we have solved that problem. We have a beautiful Shabbat prayer book put together by our one and only Ronan Wenderfer, who is with us right now on Shabbat. Ronan, you did an awesome job. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be testing it out next week. This week, even right now, after uh, the Sharing Shabbat, you can check out the prayer book by just going to hcrj.org and there is a button that says Virtual Prayer Book. You push the button and it goes right onto your phone. Check it out and be with us next Friday uh, at six o'clock for services. Um, I'll probably say that at the end again. But we are going to uh, do some special things tonight because as we were digging around our uh, Judaica, we found a bunch of old stuff that we hadn't really thought about in a long time. So we're going to start with the lighting of our Shabbat candles, and Becky's going to tell you these beautiful candlesticks that we have. So these candlesticks right here have been in my family for a long time. They were my great-grandparents, Becky and Simon. So you can imagine I'm named after Becky, he's named after Simon, and we're going to use those 
to welcome Shabbat. Did you check these matches? Before? Yeah, okay. they're lightable. <laughs> Woo! Now, Shabbat tradition is our cats always join us either at the candle lighting or at the kiddush. We'll see when. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Kiddushanu Bermitzvotav V'tzivanu Lehad Lichner Lehad Lichner Shel like tradition too and this is Sophie and she loves Hebrew I think we've told the story before that every night we say Shema before we go to bed and the second she hears the first word she runs in the room jumps on the bed and meows with us so definitely a Jewish cat well in addition to having uh, uh, candlesticks that go back generations we also have Kiddush cups that go back generations we'll start with Aiden what, what, you, what Kiddush cup is this? I think it's uh, your mom's Grammy. Yes, my mom's Grammy's. That was from her bat mitzvah. She was the first bat mitzvah in her congregation. She was a, tri or is a triplet. And uh, her brothers were having a bar mitzvah. They had never had a bat mitzvah. And she was not going to be left out. So uh, there are three of these little Kiddush cups and uh, from, from each of the triplets. Now, Simon has one somewhere. Uh, this, oh. is, this is Simon's, yeah. This is mine from my bar mitzvah that I had. Who gave it to you? The temple. The temple. <laughs> this is the Kiddush cup from Becky and my wedding. Yes, and then we've got another Kiddush cup here. So this is also from my great-grandparents um, that, uh, that has made its way from uh, Russia into Dallas and into our home in Houston. And this Kiddush cup, I think, I think is my dad's Kiddush cup from his bar mitzvah, or it may have been mine. I don't know. They all start to look the same after a while. But as you probably well know, as you have Kiddush cups as well, there's one more. I think. Oh, there's one more. So this oh. one, this one was given to me by my dad's parents um, when I had my bat mitzvah. I didn't have my bat mitzvah until I was pregnant with Simon, and it, it came uh, with a havdala kit as well. So it's super special to me. Special Kiddush cups, but when they sit on the shelf for too long. <laughs> You don't ever want to drink wine from them unless you have some kind of special cleaner. So our custom at our home is that Becky is a collector of shot glasses. And so uh, we all take shot glasses, or, or at least the kids do, so a little bit smaller. This one is very special. It's from Dave and Buster's. <laughs> I bought it. And this one says... This one is super Jew. So. Super Jew. So, Simon, Aiden, let's uh, raise our cups as we uh, thank God for this sacred day and the sweetness of the Sabbath. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Puri HaGafen Amen Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher kidishane b'mitzvotav v'ratzavanu v'shabat kodesho be'ahava u'vratzon hinchilanu zikaron le'maaseh v'reishit ki hu yom tehila le'mikrae kodesh zecher litziat mitzrayim. Ivanu bacharta, meotanu kidashta, mikol hamin, vishabat koshecha, veahava uvratzon, in 
Kaltanu, Baruch Ata Adonai, Mikadesh Ashabbat. Amen. L'chaim. And this is a delicious granacha. Mm, that is a great grape. Let's see who's with us before we uh, bless our meal with, with Mozi. Um, Rochelle Goldman, Justin, Robert Fishman, Victoria Lazar, Barbara Bennett, I already said Jamie Perkins, Hillary Kamen, um, Dana Abramchek is on. So Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom. Shalom to everybody who is with us. It's, uh, we have a really awesome challah. Um, Becky, we, uh, what was the secret of this masterpiece? I think it was because we used Good. something for the first time ever. We did? Yes, we did. What? Oh, I got a new KitchenAid. I'm super excited about it. And I made challah in the KitchenAid, the dough in the KitchenAid for the first time and got big, beautiful halot out of it. So super excited. Yeah, it, it uh, made a world of difference. So if you're doing your challah, by hand or even in a bread maker, uh, the kitchen aid, you can knead this thing for 10 minutes and it go rocks. and have it. It really is an amazing tool. If you have one, use it well. As we uh, thank God for the uh, meal we are about to share, we join together in Motsi. Baruch Atadunai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Hamotzi lechem min ha'ares. Amen. We'll take a slice of uh, bread, and as I'm cutting, I just remind those newer folks who have come in next week, live streaming from HCRJ Services, six o'clock, and uh, you can download the the uh, prayer book on your phones by just going to our website hcrj.org or your computers or your tablets whatever it may be but there's a button right there a purple button at the top that says virtual prayer book beautiful beautiful prayer book that will allow you to scroll through all the prayers as we do them we close our service our time together with one more uh shabbat song um Actually, we'll close with the one that we opened with because I think everybody knows it. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom and you have a wonderful, wonderful Shabbat as a family as an individual, whatever you're doing, have a great, great weekend. Shabbat Shalom. Have a great weekend. Shabbat Shalom.